Welcome to our Intelligent Operations and Management Station. In the practical application of e-log supervision for cross-border transportation of goods by customs, through on-site research and communication with multiple customs government personnel, we have identified the following issues. 1. The on-site quantities and statuses of e-logs are not clearly visible. They are not automatically displayed on the platform. 2. E-log allocation are processed by manual. There may be uneven or delayed device allocation, affecting the transportation and regulatory processes of goods. 3. E-log storage insights is messy. Without clear storage locations and organization methods, e-logs may be randomly piled up or placed in inappropriate locations, creating difficulties for management and use. 4. E-log charging insights cannot proceed in time. This delay in charging may result in unprepared devices, potentially causing lapses in cargo monitoring. 5. Low efficiency of e-log repair and maintenance. This may result in prolonged periods of device inactivity or malfunctions, further impeding the normal progress of regulatory work. To address these challenges, enhance the efficiency of e-log usage, and facilitate custom supervision. JoinTech has introduced the Intelligent Operations and Management Solution. This solution offers the following benefits to our clients. 1. Real-time monitoring the e-log quantities and status insights. 2. Improve the efficiency of allocation and make it fast and convenient. 3. Keep e-log in good storage and charging situations, prolong e-log lifespan and prevent potential risks. 4. Provide effective support to e-log repair and maintenance. 5. Improve automation level of entire system operations through integration with ECTS and other systems. In this video, we'll guide you through the station operations, including get a log, return, remove out, and remove into. Part A. Get a log. There are two ways to get a log. One is on site. You can input information on the screen. And the system will create a transport mission. Click confirm and the door will open automatically. You can retrieve the device. You can also check the status of the retrieved device on the screen. Another way to get a log is to platform. You can input information to create a transport mission on the platform. Then click on Confirm and send to the operator. The operator receives the transport mission and goes to the designated station. Retrieve the device by scanning the QR code on the transport mission. The device now is unlocked and can be used directly on the truck. Part B. Return. When arriving at destination, return the device. Tap the screen. Then align the device's QR card with the scanner to open the cabinet. Place it in the charging dock and plug in the power. You can print the receipt at the end. During usage, imbalances may occur between stations, requiring allocation management. Now, let's start the allocation process. Part C. Remove out. Input information on the platform to dispatch a transformation. Quantity and model of devices transferred. Sending and receiving sites. Vehicle and driver's information. Choose the date. Then click on Confirm and send to the operator. The operator receives the task mission in the mobile app and opens the QR card. Then goes to the sending site. When arriving at the station, taps the screen and scans the QR card. Multiple cabinet doors open at the same time. Retrieve the device and close the door. 
you can retrieve devices of different models. Then transfer the devices to the receiving side. Part D, remove intern. On arrival at the receiving side, place the devices in the cabinet. Tap the screen. Align the device's QR card with the scanner to open the cabinet. Place it in the charging dock and plug in the power. Close the door. Repeat to return the next device. When finished, you can print the receipt. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.